It's time for group therapy. And this week's situation is one that many of you say that you have experienced and it isn't fun for anyone. Help me, Rhonda. I've just been promoted to EA to the CA, CEO of a company where I've worked for 15 years. I'm excited, but scared. In addition to my new position, I am the supervisor of other admins working in the C-suite. I'll be responsible for their performance reviews, as well as any issues that come up. And all of these other admins are my friends. Over the years, we've supported each other and complained about the boss and our supervisor together. Now I'm the supervisor and unsure how to handle the transition. The former EA to the CEO was not one of the gang, yet I still want to be signed the supervisor of the gang. Now to begin, everyone responded that being friends and being the supervisor is very difficult, if not impossible to achieve. Things won't be the same moving forward and you need to acknowledge that. However, we got a few tidbits of advice to help the transition. Janine Rose from Washington, D.C. says that supervising is somewhat like parenting and that you can't always maintain good feelings between you and your subordinates and make sure that the business is running the way that it should. There will be days when you have friendly feelings and days when they can't stand you. You have to build a bit of a thick skin and understand that your job description doesn't include making friends. Beth Turner Gates from Victoria, BC says that you can assure your team that you have an open door policy and that everyone will be treated fairly. Carol Fritzgerald from Chicago, Illinois says that you need to set boundaries at the beginning and to keep the emotions out of the equation. If the team doesn't take things personally, it will be easier for you to do your job. Barrett Shaw from Las Vegas, Nevada says that you must focus on your responsibilities and your shared why with the team. Give it time, but trust will fall into place. If they are your friends, they should understand why you are doing what you are doing. Laura Thwelt from Houston, Texas says that you should ensure that you have lunch or coffee meeting, meetings in groups and one-on-one -on -one to foster your relationships and friendships. Lisa Partnin from Brisbane, Australia says that you can share a glimpse into your role so that they learn more. However, be sure that you don't complain about your boss, but instead share the tips that you've learned. Barbara Munshaw from Ottawa, Ontario reminds you to be kind to yourself first. She also says it's like having kids. You are there to guide them to be the best they can be and to be able to do their jobs. And that doesn't come from being their BFF. Remember why you accepted the role in the first place. And it wasn't about your friendships. Lisa Cuthill from Mississauga, Mississauga, Ontario, says that you will need to choose, find common ground, and cling to the things that everyone supports, whether it's a cause or company values. Ask for support from your peers and to be consistent, especially in the beginning. And the final piece of advice that I'll share from all the advice that was shared is from Stephanie Han from Chicago, Illinois, who puts it bluntly, but very accurately. The gang has to evolve or dissolve. You can help them by following the advice shared here today. Now, be sure to share your comments below to continue to help our new supervisor. We appreciate your help and support too, and good luck.